Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake, this is Charlie. You're here for a reaction and today we are reacting to Doctor Who Season 3 Episode 0. Because technically for some reason they don't include the uh, Christmas specials in this. Uh, in the sort of like the, the numbering. Uh, as for us, we recently watched uh, the last episode of Season 2. Charlie, when was that? Yesterday. I'd say about... We're looking at about maybe about a good 18 hours ago. So this is the best we've ever done. Don't bother trying to work out. Come on, stop, stop it. Um, so yeah, this is the best we've ever done. Um, I thought I'd grab them now. Uh, so yeah. So now that you've had a good period break time in between, briefly, have you recovered from the last episode? With, yeah, I've recovered. You've recovered with Rose now being in a parallel universe and there's no way to get to her. Yeah, I was not happy about it, but... But you've recovered? Yeah. Have you stopped calling the Doctor names? Well, yeah, in this time, yeah. In this, this time, guess fine. So, no, but you, you're ready now to move on like everyone else, right? Yeah, you are. Anyway, so the next episode, uh, yep, yeah, it's Christmas special, like I told you. You saw he was at the end of the last episode. That's Catherine Tate. I don't know if you've seen her in other things, but at the time of when this came out, uh, she was like... Um, she was like big on the scene for I think the Catherine Tate show, which is like a, which again it's uh oh, come on what they call it again now it's it's one of those shows that it's like, she plays certain characters and they're reoccurring in each episode. Can't remember what that type of show is called again. Uh, but yeah, she was like the, um, the poster child for female comedy at that time, and she's bloody hilarious anyway. But yeah, so she's she's so you saw her at the end of that, uh, and yeah, so really anything else that you want to know, or you just want to jump into this. Anything you want to get off your chest? Uh, no, better off not. Better, better off not, not, no. It's going to be sad that we're going to have to set aside the ro Roso meter. Uh, but we could always just replace someone's head on that meter. But I don't think they'll annoy us like she did. Well, at least... We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's jump into this guy. So... Uh, we hope that he enjoys this uh, episode. You hope you enjoy this reaction. And if you do, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That'll be superb. But other than that, see you on the other side. How are you still not getting it? I'm, it's direct. I'm you're like, you're at right. At no, you're not. Oh, that was good. Oh, no, shit. what? Go to pointing school. Extenders. It's not extenders. Well, actually, I think I rec recognise it from one thing. I think I saw it might be the Catherine Tate show. It's like it's a tutor, and they get no, no, they get a, ba a babysitter, and they're and she's the mother, I think, and they're posh, but they had to get like a regular babysitter. Oh, maybe something. that sounds familiar. God, and yeah. Then she was, was she Welsh? I think she was Welsh. Was she Welsh in it? Oh, God. No, no, not the mum, the the babysitter, and they're like, oh, mummy, why is she? Why well, is she speaking like that? And then she, yeah. Oh, I can't remember that. No. I can't remember that. That might no. not even be her. I might yeah. have just wasted everyone's time. You always do. Oh, I was about to say there's an age gap there, but. Uh, oh, you thought that was the guy that was walking down the aisle was her husband? You fucking idiot! And she's gone. And it's gone. Dumps Rose off and then steals a steals a bride. What? Disgusting. Who are you? He didn't steal. Yeah, he did. What? I like how the intro is literally just them taking just about thirty seconds of new footage and then merging it with the end of the other episode. Stop it. I should say Billy Piper. Oh, that's how you got her name there. I'm quite uh, annoyed because I was hope that's it's called the Runaway Bride, but I was hoping it was gonna like say his only bride just to wind you up. His true one true bride. You can't do that, I wasn't. Where am I? Inside the TARDIS. What? The TARDIS. What? The TARDIS. <laughs> what? It's called the TARDIS. Obviously, when you kidnap me, who was it? Who's paying you? Nerys! <laughs> oh my god, she finally got me back. This has got Nerys written all over it. Who the hell is Nerys? Your best friend. Oh <laughs> what are you dressed like that for? 
I'm going to help him bow. Wow. You would think he struggled you. You would think. You're I mean, what I was thinking. I yeah. was thinking more like out of space. Shouldn't she be dying right now? No, no, no. The TARDIS will. It has like a sort of like a exterior sort of like sort of it can extend oxygen. It, it can do. What I say about trying to find logic in the show? Yeah, I just feel like you make shit up. Half no, no, time. no. It did, it's done this before. Cam. I feel like it has extended. Like, you remember when... No, I'm trying to think. Maybe it hasn't popped up yet. This, But yeah, but him opened up in space. Because the oxygen's still there. He, he can still provide oxygen in the TARDIS. If you be a bitter bitch this entire episode, I am going to headbutt you. Space ship. It's called the TARDIS. How am I breathing? Oh, the TARDIS is protecting us. There we go. You just had to jump the gun, didn't you? No, I am. Human. You just look at her yeah. tits. Is that optional? Of course you did. Oh, misogynistic. <laughs> You'll do. <laughs> You're an alien. Yeah. He's very forthcoming with her. What's that mean? Well, as, in, as in, like, he's he's already straight away just been like, yeah, it's the TARDIS. Yeah, I'm an alien. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, can't, pretty goddamn cool. Freezing with these doors open. I'm not the first, am I? How many women have you abducted? <sighs> That's my friend. She's gone. Gone where? I lost her. Well, you can hurry up and lose me! <laughs> I mean, I'd say she has no decorum, but at the same time, she's also kind of has been just kidnapped. Showing off, that's what she is. First day at school, she was sent home for biting. <laughs> More serious than that. You... Who are you getting married to? I'm sure he's human. He's not a bit of a way with the zip around his forehead, is he? <laughs> Who has pockets? Have you ever seen a bride with pockets? <laughs> when I went to my fitting, it shares Alison, and one thing I forgot to say was give me pockets! This man you're marrying, what's his name? Lance. Good luck, Lance. Fine. <laughs> no stupid Martian is going to stop me from getting married to hell with you. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> which did they need to go to? St. Mary's. But did they specifically, was it Chiswick? Well, Chiswick, that's which... yeah. Do you have effect on everyone? Why are they stopping? They're in central they're London. That's going to cost a bomb. Don't start it. <laughs> I think I'm drunk. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on. That's the talent Remote you wish you had. Hurry up. Go on, try. I know I can. It's not bad, it's better than me. Yeah. Do you know, it took me years to realise I could do. Yeah. Awesome, we're cool. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, you know what, there's nothing more infuriating away behind someone. I completely agree. I've been behind so many people's shake of anger, like, how you, how are you taking so long? Press buttons. I've got one wedding about to arrive and another wedding refusing to leave, so yes, I do think it's a police matter. Why are the priests of grass? I mean... Do you remember those? Mm. I can't remember who. It was his first Christ 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 yeah. Christmas episode. Well, his first episode. Well then, Donna. Didn't even look at the fucking driver. We're going the wrong way. So chaotic. Mm. It is like you know. You'll see as it goes on. It just some of them get a lot smoother. But his was literally just so grunge. He's just smacking it up with hammers and stuff and kicking it. I mean, you would straight away start chasing off like. Oh, the maneuvering, unreal. You could say he's threading the needle. Thread. Ah, oh, that was good. That was a good one. That was a good one. Well done. Santa's a robot. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, you mean, how do you explain that to your insurance company? Compared to season one, how good are the the effects now? Yeah. Oh, jump! Oh, she's annoying as fuck, eh? Hey. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the era of the Dono meter. <laughs> Trust me. Is that what you said to her? Yeah, exactly. The one you lost. I forgot about that line. Did she trust you? I forgot about Yes, she did. And she is not dead. She is so alive. Now jump. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> wow! Wow! She, he just inspired her with those words. Ah, oh, look at them. He. A married lady on top of it. Well, soon to be married. Yeah, exactly. That. Still got the honeymoon. It's just a holiday now. Yeah. Yeah. Deep. Yeah. Deep shit. Yeah. It's not your fault. Oh. That's a change. <laughs> I couldn't go back on someone's personal timeline. Apparently. <laughs> Balls on people when they do this. I don't know how to do it. Oh, he's undressing himself. Look, oh, oh look at him. He's such a gentleman. God, you're skinny. This won't fit a rat. <laughs> oh, and with this ring, Ivy Biodamp. For better or for worse. And then robot Santas. What are they Her called? Her husband oh. or soon to be whatever. He better be a villain or something, otherwise he's just pulled another Mickey. Oh no, yeah. you can't say that. Yeah. There's nothing there's been literally nothing romantic in this. Other than him just doing that. Oh jump, jump. And yeah, oh and jump, let me save your life. On top of each well, other. Oh, sorry, he can't help it if jacket, someone jumps on top her of him. His jacket, putting a ring on her finger. I'm sorry, I I've given my boys jackets before. Am I trying to bang them? Yeah. I am. <laughs> Are you based? Great big spaceship hovering over London. You didn't notice? I had a bit of a hangover. <laughs> Weird. I mean, you're not special. You're not powerful. You're not connected. You're not clever. You're not important. This friend of yours, just before she left, did she punch you in the face? One cup of coffee. That was it. When was this? Six months ago. Ooh. A bit quick to get married. Yeah. Well. He insisted. Will you marry me? Mm. And he nagged and he nagged me. Oh, just think about it. We make a great couple, and I'll get rid of the dog. Everyone's gonna be heartbroken. <laughs> They're fucking savages. Look at them. Without me, Donna. Hello, I'm the doctor. They had the reception <laughs> without me. Yes, I gathered. Well, it was. Well, what were we supposed to do? What? Well, <laughs> Look for me. <laughs> I'm on Earth. There's a living planet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just want to point out, you were like, oh, I hope the husband's a villain. Like, because cause she's a bit of a bitch. That's what you're implying that, because she's there flirting with another man on a wedding, day, yada, yada, yada. She's just come back to the reception, and everyone, including her mother and all her family, and her future husband, is dancing away like nothing happened. I was more talking about the doctor being a bitch. Oh, okay, right? fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. But also, just want yeah. to point out, just yeah. <laughs> everyone's a bit of a savage in this. Oh, it's back to normal. Yeah, 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 look at them. Oh, that's 
PTSD and a half. It's literally only been like about a couple of hours for him as well. <laughs> oh, you just. He just really wanted to buy that cake without being judged. Yes, they're fucking raving to it. Now she would have said something. He's a bloody Martian! You shall come to me and the beautiful bride. <laughs> Such secrets. Sideman evasion. Skies of London, full of Daleks. I was in Spain. <laughs> I had Sidemen in Spain. Skip driving. <laughs> keep on missing it. Torchwood was destroyed. Lars! Maybe I should go to the police. Inside! He's a good boy. Mm, to honour and obey. <laughs> you better come back. Get rid of you for trying. That's not a flirtation thing. That's not a flirtation thing. It's not a flirtation thing. See that little cheeky grin she gave. Yeah, because they're fucking best friends now. Have you thought about this properly? No, she can't take his, her eyes off him. Ignoring him already. Oh, I thought you lied. <laughs> She's already thinking about the wedding later on. She's already put a plan in place for that. That's a long time. Well, that's six months. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know long how long you have to wait for weddings? No. Oh no, there's a huge like there's there's a a wait list for a lot of places. But like, if you miss it like that, can you not just do it earlier? N like no. they can't reschedule me. No, 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 no. It's again that was probably but well, the thing is that they've been together six months. Actually, thinking about it. They've been together six months, or did they propose after six months? Can't remember. No, they've been together. They've been together for six months. For six. Oh wow, yeah. So maybe they. Oh, I don't know. But usually, people have to uh, tend to uh, book their wedding venues at least a year in advance. So six months go by the fact they were able to get, be together and get married within six months. Wherever they're looking to book it, must must be a lot of things happening there that's making it cheap and available. Because my people got rid of you once they unraveled the atomic structure. Your people? Who are they? What company do you represent? <laughs> oh, I'm a freelancer, but this chemical war inside! Adrenaline, acetyl chloride, wham go the endorphins! Oh, you're cooking! Yeah, you're like walking up in a pressure cooker, <laughs> microwave, turning away. The bathroom will reach boiling point. Shazam! <laughs> what did I do this time? These particles, are they dangerous? Am I safe? Yes. If your lot got rid of human particles, why did they do that? Because they were deadly. Oh my god. You just straight up lied to her, didn't you? Yes! Ah, no, it's actually really deadly, you're right. <laughs> so, sorry, you got. You called my bluff on that one. Honestly, they're all savage. You just fucked up. <laughs> just full on left. By laser. <laughs> Five hours ago. Like, it would take you to drop from there all the way to the center of the earth. You'll die before you reach it. Why? You would it's die. Like heat or something. Yeah. Well, everything. Heat, probably how long would actually take you? Probably die of um, thirst before then. Probably the sheer fall of it with no sort of surrounded so mass. So how long? How long? The pressure of the actual of the earth getting that close to the ball would end up probably crushing you. All these sort of things. You're not physically reaching it. If you're going to minus that, all that, and just literally going by length, I'd say probably two days. No, I'm joking, you idiot. No. Oh. No, it would be taking ages. It's, it's just, you, you die way before then. So how long? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. You don't know either. I reckon I could do it in... Oh, you could do it in it. Yeah, yeah. So, so if there was a competition, who'd reach the bottom of the earth for... Uh, 
the center of the earth fastest you think you could do in better times than other people yeah because of the the wingspan sure pray press pay no i'm not even silenced are you about dinosaurs Prepare your best medicines, Dr. Man. Always reminds me of something. It reminds me of I remember Scary Movie 2 with the guy with the hand. Take my straw hand. But what a nice young man to Thank offer. You. Let me give you a little oh, pinch there. Come on. Oh, <laughs> fuck it. I don't think I've seen Scary Movie 2. You haven't seen Scary Movie 2? I think I've only seen 1 and 3. <gasps> Scary Movie 2 does, is the best, in my opinion. <laughs> so many edits of just one. <laughs> That's kind of cool to be fair. I mean, that is great for stacks. Mm. Ragnos are born starving. Is that our fault? Same, babes. Same. They eat people. My Christmas dinner. <laughs> you shouldn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> Way back in history, the fledgling empires went to war against. Look me in the eye and tell me. I don't think this is going to work. So The husband better be a villain. You called it already. You called it. You said it in jest, but you called it. Shit. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. I thought genuinely like Shit, but the he was going to, going to kick, kick, kill him or something like that. Or yeah, or like was... just like boot him out yeah, of the yeah, way yeah. or something. Yeah. He was poisoning me. It was all there in the job title. The head of human resources. This time... It's personnel. <laughs> you fuck off. <laughs> but... And then I'll start with a woman who thinks the height of excitement is a new flavour Pringle. Oh, I'll have to sit there. He's really and going in. He's going in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear God, the never-ending fountain of fat, stupid trivia. I deserve a medal. Oh, is that what she's offered you? The Holy Empress shit. Of the yeah. House. What are you? A consort? It's better than a night with her. I love you. That's what made it easy. <sighs> you said, Doctor. The big picture. So, reverse it. The spaceship comes to her. Fire! Wow. My <laughs> Well, I lied. And now we're going to use it. We need to find out what the Empress of Arachnos is digging up. Someone's buried at the planet's core. And Wait, so, oh, so yeah. he can... <laughs> right, go on. So he can go back on his own timeline. On his own timeline, the events that he's already been a part of, he can't. So he, he's not going back to this moment, uh, to prior okay. to this. He's going to another pair of time. Go to like three months ago. When yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what about Donna? Donna was in... Oh, yeah, well, you'll see. Going further back than I've ever been before. If a key is locked... Do you feel bad now? Do you feel bad now? Do you feel bad now? Why would I feel bad? Oh, you should feel bad. For what? You've been awful. Why would I feel bad? Because you've literally just been sort of like trying oh. to make it better, make it out like she's part of the problem. No, the doctor's the only problem. Nah, yeah, I feel like you've been taking out on her a little bit as well. Nah. You have. No. Suppose. Donna Noble, welcome to the creation of the Earth. Oh God. 4.6 billion years. Probably the funniest thing you've ever said. <laughs> Imagine it opening it was just some guy and like, like with a big beard on a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. No services. No, I have measured the prize catalysis. I can force feed it. 
So what he had to put into her for six months. They are now just putting gallons on them in one go. Which really basically means you should drown. You should drown. My science teacher believes this. What? Believes in the Rackmoss no. and Send the Earth. He uh, had a mate who did... Oh, I can't remember what it was now. It might have been shrooms. Right. And he kept thinking that he was thirsty and he drank so much that he drowned himself. Or it might have been acid. No, it would have been... I'd say that sounds more like it's a laboratory drug, which would be more acid base, I'd say. Maybe, yeah. Shrooms are hallucinogenics. And I think that no matter how shroomed up you are, you still would be able to know if you're going to drown yourself. Whereas acid is a mind-altering drug that's laboratory-based. That's been made in a lab, pretty much. Mm. Something like that. But again, still kind of fucked up. Yeah. Get right. Skill base issue. Oh. She is close. It must be so annoying that I'm just running around in your dress Find this whole time. Yeah, I, can, I was just wondering is she in heels or has she got like little flats on? Yeah, she's running like that then. But what do we do? I don't know. If she's in heels, that's pretty we impressive. <laughs> To exist, the right much stuck. They just take the hibernation for billions of years. Now she's been drunk. Yeah. So you're the new key. Oh. Brand new particles, living particles. And you to open it, and you have never been so quiet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, shucks. Together at last, your awful wedded life. <laughs> Do you want to be stuck? Yeah. Very, you're very, very good character work. He just can't help. Just that was pretty quick. Yeah, didn't take two days. Oh god. And he's gone. And it's gone. You're a massive snowflake. No, just You're a massive snowflake. Fucking A, keep up, son. Also, you can think of Donna's literally had, had her hair broken so much this episode. Couldn't do a wedding. They then did a wedding without her. She then finds out her husband actually hates her. And then she's got a future husband, her fiance. And then watches her fiance, who she probably still loves dying for her. It's traumatizing shit. I hope that gets her. Deserve it. You just stand there and look at something and scream. You deserve a stomach. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> My home planet is far away and long since gone. But his name lives on. Gallifrey. <laughs> I warned you. Oh, I thought they just loved doing this. Oh, does the edit? Like, no, no, there's, yeah, there's nine of them from one game. I wonder, like, affect the earth or something? The guy, the guy's in the front there like he's like a dog in a basket. This is pretty reckless. Yeah. Well, yeah by this point it's a spaceship over yeah. a major sea. It's like take out before it can get even more where it's populated. We bring the Thames.
I mean, it's not funny, is it? It's not funny. I mean, it is. No. They've just survived. No. They live another day. Five enemy. It's not funny. More than I've done. They got all the wildlife in that. In that. You're not funny! I couldn't save him. He deserved it. No, he didn't. <sighs> she really got pure hurt. Inside. It's no. <laughs> That's cheating. What will you do with yourself now? I don't know. Travel. See a bit more. Well. Longer. Walk in the dust. Well, you could always. with me if you like. Come with me. Oh. Close enough. Close enough. No. Okay. I can't. No, that's fine. You live your life like that. I think you do. And I couldn't. Yeah, stand your ground. You've seen it out there. No. It's beautiful. And it's terrible. Oh, we can't comprehend that. That place was flooding and... And then you made it snow. I mean, you scared me to death. <laughs> Well, then. Am I ever going to see you again? If I'm lucky. Rose! Just. <laughs> promise me one thing. Find someone. No! I don't need anyone. Rose. You just said I don't need anyone. She said yes, you do. Put your headphone back in now. I think you need someone to stop you. I can't do this. If I'm lucky. It's too early. <laughs> Because sometimes I think you need someone to stop you. No. Be magnificent. You best believe it, baby. I think I will. Yeah. <laughs> that friend of yours. What was her name? Her name was Rose. Well, it sounds like you had to call her. Mm hmm. Okay. Never seen that before. Yep. <laughs> just, just flies off the snow. Uh, I think this. Okay, yep. And that guy's my reaction to Doctor Who Season 3, Episode 0 The Runaway Bride. Charlie, thoughts? I enjoyed it. it. Even though it was a Christmas episode, it wasn't too Christmassy, was it? Yeah. Like I, the forgot, other... I forgot it was a Christmas episode, yeah. to be honest. Well, other than like, the Santas yeah. and the baubles and stuff like that. But otherwise, no, there was a... Didn't really have that much. I always remember the... I would always remember... For some reason, I always think tenants and tenants ones to be more Christmassy. But they're actually not too Christmas. They're just set at Christmas. And it's like a couple of Christmas things. It's like, oh, right, then let's get back to explosions and murder and mm. stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, it was good. I actually enjoyed it. What did you think of the Arachnos? The Arachnos, sorry. Um, I, I actually thought it was quite cool. I thought it was quite great looking prosthetics. Yeah. I, even though we laughed at the way it's reacting, it's the, it le lent very much into it because it has a different mouth and different jaw and a different sort of teeth. It lent into the fact that it wouldn't speak like a normal, mm. like sort of, thing. so it would be, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Like sort of, especially this time around, the prosthetics, everything, it looked pretty goddamn good. Mm. I really, I really appreciate that. Yeah, no, that was, yeah, I loved that. Not even though I was laughing, I wasn't like taking the piss. It was yeah, just yeah, funny. yeah. No, what, what? It was yeah. I mean, all right. Let's let's get out of the way. We had the Donna O meter for probably an hour, but as you saw, it's not coming out. So that's Donna mm. been and gone, baby. So what? Uh, if you had the Donna O meter annoyance wise, mm -hmm. how much did Donna annoy you this episode? One, I guess. Exactly, because she's the dog's bollocks. That's why. No, again, she's not Rose, though. Yeah, Rose would have been a ten in this episode. No. Oh, don't you bloody dare! You can't rewrite history. There's literal receipts. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, what do you think of Catherine Tate then as Donna Noble? I thought she was funny, but like, I don't, yeah, I understand that not being the Doctor's companion for the whole thing because it's a bit too comedic. Yeah, do you know what? I think they... Because, again, at the time, she was very much a comedic person. 
Mm. So it was like a a uh, a thing where it's like a oh could we keep going for a, a series? It was like no, she's just a funny woman, isn't she? My mm. chair's going. Yeah, she's just a funny woman, isn't she? So um, it's uh, it's it's we can she can't be able to deliver. But as you saw when she had have to get the deliver the actual moments of sincerity and sadness, and so you're like oh fucking hell. Like okay, let's scare it away, Lance. Lance, her fiance, <laughs> because obviously you did you didn't expect him to be a bastard, to actually be to like to go yeah. to here with the axe and then be like, <laughs> yeah. But how awful was he in the end? He I was mean, hor- He was worse than Rakdos. <laughs> yeah, even the she does she Rakdos was like got rid of it. Yeah, got rid of the Yeah, it was unreal, wasn't it? It just it wasn't, it wasn't stopping. He it was, was like going. It was in relentless. And in and in. It was just. Just constant, just over and over again. It's like, oh, okay. Even when Donna was there to the doctor going, you can stop now. That's what I wanted to say to Lance was, you can stop now. She gets it. Oh, mate, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was redonkulous. I can't believe, um, how awful he was as a person. But again, him, as, as horrible that moment is for Donna when she finds out him then getting his come up and like even though she's like he deserves to die no he didn't like mm. perfectly encapsulates Donna she's she's got a heart of gold even though she like you know it, it seems like it's tattooed she's uh, she's still like a lovely sweet person but in that moment she's there like no he didn't I'm there yeah he did yeah yeah, yeah he, did. he did he really did I wish he smacked his head on the concrete before he went down as well oh. yeah like it, like rather than just fall straight down just him just pinballing all the way down yeah, I want a blood smeared on the... <laughs> but yeah, that, oh, horrible. I remember what, when I first watched that, I was like, again, like you, like... Oh! Stop him! <laughs> Silence your mouth, Lance! It was horrible, but... Again, the whole idea that he was poisoning her for six months. Yeah. Some of the things he was saying is, well, I couldn't let you run away. Like I say, let's just call her stupid constantly. Ah. Oh. Oh, I can't. I'm just getting enraged just remembering it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. So Lance, but you got his commitments now. Let's talk about how, because obviously you were like during this, the Doctor moves on too quickly, and at the start you were like, "Oh, you little bitch, you little you little moving on too quickly, bitch." But you saw throughout this, he was still had PTSD from Rose leaving. Yeah, yeah, and but he did that. <laughs> What? He did that. This is fault. Right, let's not get into that anymore. But my point is, he still has PTSD from Rose not being with him anymore, him not being able to get to Rose. So my point is, is that he he eventually... is that That's why I think that Russell T. Davies did good in this episode. In this episode, because I think it was everyone... By the time this was on Tennant and Rose first, everyone was like, oh my God, this Doctor Who stuff's amazing. Look at them. Oh my God, they're so attractive. Oh, when are they going to fall in love and make babies and kiss? And, and then obviously then when she gets kicked away... <clears throat> everyone's like no you can't do that you can't replace her so they needed to do this sort of thing in between where it was like a he does need someone and that moment was where he literally slaughtered all the bad children of the Ragnos billions of those children down there and he was there and if it wasn't for Donna to stop him he would have probably killed them all Good, no? He's saving the No, I mean, world. well, no, kill them all, killing the Empress, as well as also, who knows, if he had, would have had time to escape. You never know. That's what, that's what I mean, is that it's one of those things where if he wasn't able to stop, and that's the point, is that, that's the idea that he's trying to pair there, is that he does need someone there. And she says that, don't be alone, because it's it's just, is he's, although we think of him as a higher being, he's still a very emotional being. And you could see that he was willing to, go the whole hog there but um but yeah so i, I do that's why i think was you know had to put in this episode to show like he needs someone so then people watch it like oh shit yeah no he does need a companion why can't it be rose well rose is trapped now so let's have to move on and i guess it help it, that helps move on to the, uh, the next companion whoever that is um but yeah so yeah uh trying to think what do you think of uh <laughs> what do you think of uh Donna's family just being absolute savages. I don't know. I don't know whether I respect it or... I mean, it, 
I mean, if the food's been made and the and the yeah. DJ, I mean, the DJ's not going to s- not play his tunes. He can't mm. just be getting paid in silence. He's going to be maybe shall sh- sh- lie in the middle a little bit and have a rap or something like that. You know, like you know, he's he's going to throw that out there. And I mean, it, it's down to if, if the moment takes over them and they find themselves boogieing. I respect it. I think I respect it. Savages. I respect a savage moment, and that's definitely up there. Yeah. The fact it's like a. I know they're saying like, oh, we got your voice mail saying like, oh, I'm on Earth. Oh, but it's like, but you still saw her evaporate in front of you. Like, 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 how is everyone just, oh, it's so stupid. But yeah, good on for them. Good on them. I'm trying to think what else has happened in this episode. Uh, oof. Anything that stands out for you? Just um, the doctor's little dirty man whore. <laughs> you need to calm down with this. You you know what? You will eventually get over this. And I know, and I know this is like probably this is probably worse than some of your breakups. I, I'm telling right now. I'm telling you right now. I've I've not gone over certain companions. Even I've still haven't gotten over certain doctors leaving. And but I but I've gotten to the point where I was like, I don't want you to go. But I understand. And that's where you'll get to eventually. You'll understand and you're ready and you're like, eventually. I'm not saying that it happens straight away. But you will get to that point where you're like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm free. I was like, I had to go help our father work out the microwave he bought 10 years ago. Father. Father! Anyway. Yeah, so uh, I can remember where I got where I got up to. So, moving on, uh, talking about the villains, the robots. They were just they were just overtaken by the Rachnos, so it's fine. The Rachnos, we spoke about them. Talk about Lance. Talk about Donna. If you were to let's say have Donna back in some form capacity, go by what you saw here. Would you be happy to see her back, yeah. or do you, or would you be happy with the one and done that her? or would you be interested in a? Come back, please. Sort of situation. Uh, I wouldn't mind like an odd episode. No. Yeah, I mean that's no, good, but no. not every episode. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. She's again. It's a, it's she's a fun character. She, she, yeah. she is. She is a fun character. Yeah, but again, she went through so much, so so much. I just, I just, I just. Yeah, it's just it's what awful. Like Russell T Davies must have like literally been just there with devil horns on when he was writing that character. Just like. <laughs> And then they'll do this to her. It's like... Oh. Seemed pretty sympathetic for her, but not for Rose. I mean, double standards here. Do you know what? I'm, I'm actually... I, you know what? I, 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 maybe I possibly have done this too quickly. You're still in your mourning period. Maybe I should have actually given us that month break. No, I think this is good. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is good for me. This, yeah. this is good for me. Just get me into this first episode. Get used to it. Get over it. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. I mean, how did you find the Doctor then this episode? Other than, say, call him a little man-whore. How did you find him this episode? Yeah, he was fine. I know, I felt, only time I felt bad for him was at the end, where he sounded like he was going to cry. When he when he was right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, apart from that, it was just normal, I guess. Apart from a few flashbacks. Mm. I mean, what do you think about the moment where he then literally just dropped the fact that he was in from Gallifrey? And he was just saying sort of like, I felt my panel was lost long ago, but his memory lives on Gallifrey. <laughs> yeah, I was I, the bit after that. Then when all the, the water was dropping and yeah. the fire, as the well. fire, you yeah, could yeah. See hitting the fire behind that behind was, him. That yeah, that's me. Cool. So that was cool. The the music as well. Her mm. just screaming in the background about my the first time around. You were like ha, ah. but then when she kept on screaming, my children were like oh, oh. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, uh, trying to think that. Uh, uh, trying to think how it went by scene by scene. Um, did you think the Doctor and Donna had a great sort of chemistry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I th- I, you know what? I, th- I don't know whether this is... Oh, do you, know, you know what? I think going on screen, all the all the Doctors and all their companions can have that chemistry no matter what. Mm. But I don't know. I think that the Doctor and Donna Noble have such good sort of bouncing chemistry. Because, again, even though you were there sort of like, oh, you just... Get, get off of her! Oh, bro! It's like... <clears throat> it has that buddy feel to it. Like... I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's just that it's not like sort of like a, oh, will they, won't they? It's like no, they won't, and they'll probably stab each other before they do. But you never know. 
that seems like sexual tension to me. I think you're wanting to find it just so you can hang him. He's an asexual figure, our, our, our doctor. Asexual one is they're not anything. attracted. They're not tra- oh. not attracted to anything or anyone or anything. They just have no drive. Just use them. No, <laughs> no, no. They're just like. Uh, uh. Anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that went sort of went on. I mean, other than the like, I'm trying to think the their little spaceship like a snowflake, just like you. Um, um, I'm trying to think the chase scene when they're chasing after the taxi. I mean, otherwise, yeah, I just, I think that we covered mostly everything, I think. Would you say so? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't the, think... The robots, robots weren't really that involved. No, they weren't, no, that's what I mean. So there's like, there wasn't too many twists and turns. The main twist and turns was the fact that it was the Ragnos. Oh, what did you think of the bit with the fact that it was the Ragnos that literally brought the Earth together to form the Earth? Oh. That's that moment when he was, they were looking at the creation yeah. of the Earth, yeah. I thought that was like fairly cool. Like, it's, it's weird that that is actually like just a... That's a factual point now in in Doctor Who history. Like, oh. what? I thought you were gonna say in, no, no, in no, 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 no. In factual, in the factual point in Doctor Who lore, it's like a oh, the Earth was pulled together by the Rachnos, and then and then so it's like oh, okay, fair enough. But that's like that's what it is now. But but I do enjoy that moment where he is just there talking to her about it as well. Um, when they're just looking at it, like everything, where he's just she she says to feel insignificant, but he yeah, makes it feel the how how. how your insignificant feeling is actually more the fact that you were so special in what you were. The fact that you were at this moment in time, at this point. Yeah, but yeah. I really enjoyed that moment. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. No, I don't. I, I can't really think of anything else. The robots, yeah, weren't really there. They were just there just to give you the Christmas feel again, I guess. But yeah, I think uh, overall then, would you say this is a good start to see po- post life without Rose? Not. Let's not maybe call it season three. Do you think, as it goes, did you think you were going to maybe enjoy this episode as much because you would have been on your rose being gone hate? Or have you been like, I'm pleasantly happy with that? No, I'm pleasantly happy with that. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. It was was a Christmas special. It was good that it probably was a Christmas special. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was good. Yeah, I mean, uh, would you, if you were, without obviously we'll have to compare it to three, but would you say so far, compared to Tenant's first episode, would you, which is the Christmas episode? Would you prefer that one or this one? This one. Uh, I don't know. I think that first one was a good introduction yeah. to him to see how manic he is and whatever, but I'd rather this one as a whole. Yeah, as a whole. I, I, I prefer it as well. I mean, uh, and if you were to go off a of last season, which you went through, yourself, would you say this was... Uh, I'm going to assume that it's not bad in your eyes. So I'd say that mid, middle of the road, you're looking at maybe... Uh, bad in your eyes was... Um, was feed me episode mm. uh the idiot's lantern um that's bad and then if we're going mid-tier you may be looking at maybe like the sidemen when they first came around in the in the in the uh parallel universe where you meet um pete and mickey yeah. ends up meeting ricky and all that so, so that I'd was say, good that was, i'd say that one was more mid for you and then yeah, top yeah. tier is obviously then uh my, um the girl in the fireplace yeah. so where would you put it would you put it mid would you say it's in between this episode and um, that and the sidemen episodes i'd say Good mid. Good mid. So you're thinking that's just a little bit more than the Sidemen episode. Yeah. But not definitely not reaching Girl in the Fireplace. No, no, no. No, I know that. But it was, it was just more the, I don't know, the playful style that you know, I kind of liked. <clears throat> well, in this episode. Yeah. Do you know what? Yes. And I, there's something else I noticed as well. Murray Gold, who did the music from season one to uh, season 10. And then he then had the break for a couple of years. And now he's, he's, he's back in new ones. He... Has this thing, and with Russell T Davies writing, writing is that when it has, and I'm noticing now with Tenants is that they have this sort of quirky way of playing with the music, like some sort of string music, but it's like, and it's like it's, and the it's as much as it sounds stupid what I did there, but it's that quirkiness to when it's it really dives into the fun moments rather than just be like a sort of like a a moment where they're having a bit of a laugh and it's a bit silly. If they didn't put that silly music in there, people are like, oh, this is stupid, but they are they. they they, they they very much lean into the silliness of it, the ridiculousness of it, and a and it shows it on the in the writing and the music and the way that shot. I just yeah, I just overall I think yeah, this one it's 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 ridiculous, but it's it's not so ridiculous. Like what? It's sort of like a, I'm I'm here for the ride. Mm. But yeah, 
uh, yeah, so I, I think overall that's uh, that's a that's a thumbs up from us on this end for this episode. So uh, yeah, so let's just get the Donna O meter and just put it over there, and uh, we'll see who's on the next one. I hope the next one's a man. Let's see some gay action. I know some websites where you can watch that. Um, anyway, we'll leave it, leave it there whilst he goes searches for them. Uh, so guys, if you liked the video, please like the video, comment down below. What do you think of this episode? What are your favourite parts, least favourite parts? What do you think of this as in comparison to the other Christmas episodes? Obviously, he hasn't seen them and he sometimes goes in the comments and stuff like that. So don't give any spoilers or anything like that if you can do. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, like the video, comment down below. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe to the channel. I obviously do reactions with him to do with New Who, but I also do reactions by myself for when the new episodes come out, you know, with the 60th anniversary and shoot these new episodes. I'll be doing those ones. I also do reactions to the MCU, um, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I do it at all the films, phase one to three, when my mate Josh, he hadn't seen barely any of them, so they're all up in there. I also do the reactions by myself for the TV shows, and I do other reactions to other TV shows, like Star Wars Rebels, I do a lot of the Star Wars content, uh, Gen V, The Witcher, The Boys, all that sort of stuff. That's all on there. But yeah, that takes you fancy, guys. Like, subscribe, notification bell. But thank you again for watching. <sighs> you ready? See you out there. That's better. That's, good. That's, That's better. Good. That's better. That's better. Seems like you're finally over, Rose. <laughs>